School and church have always been safe spaces for me. I remember the first time I started school my first day of kindergarten at J. Garfield Jackson Senior Academy School of Humanities through Technology Global Awareness. Now that's a big name for a little person to say, but those experiences that I had at that school really fostered my love of learning. My teachers were so kind and compassionate and they opened up their hearts to me in an intimate way of sharing not only the academics, but also sharing with me about life and church, oh my goodness, I remember the first time I walked into a church, I was six years old, Unity Baptist Church of the Oranges in Orange, New Jersey. And I had so many questions about this text that we were reading and these pictures that I saw in our Sunday school books and the Bible stories that we were hearing about and the room that I was sitting in in the sanctuary. And I had so many questions that the people in my church, the elders of my church were so gracious in answering. Learning for me was a way for me to navigate the world around me, to begin to understand and put the pieces of the puzzle together. I believe that one of the gifts that God gives us is this ability to learn, this ability to be in community with one another. And in our learning, we share what we've learned with other people, continuing to pass the torch on. That's essentially what was happening in the book of Acts chapter two when the church is beginning its establishment. The disciples are learning how to share Jesus's message with other people and the people that they're sharing it with are learning what it means to be an, a, an apostle and a disciple of Jesus. How do they care for one another? Learning is our opportunity of expanding ourselves and filling ourselves with new knowledge and information so that we might make our world a better place. So I hope that you'll join us on Sunday as we learn together about where God might be calling us. I hope to see you there.